Rosmanstelling is, is a great concept. Um, for all that it is the average ouwelke kans om to compete, is by competitions in South Africa, but it moeilijk maak for normale ouwel deel te nemen competitions, omdat hy kan nie noodwendig die top 2 spanne maak wat, wat gaan na sikke competitions nie. So obviously the categories really make a big difference. We, I'm a new crossfitter. If, if I wasn't organizing, I would be entering one of the categories, the, the, the beginner, intermediate, just, just so that people who can compete in a, in a class where they feel that they have an equal level, level playing field. None of us want to compete in a class where you're going to be so far behind the leaders that you aren't going to feel that you're connected. But we can, we've now scaled it to such a point that even that person who's only just picked up their first barbell two months ago can feel like they can compete and they don't have to be scared of the workouts. It's going to give everyone a competitive edge. Whereas previously when a lot of competitions were too elitist, a lot of the beginners or people that necessarily aren't as strong felt that they could not partake and they weren't good enough. Whereas now, everyone has the chance and everyone is almost willing to try because they don't feel like it's a threat. And we try to develop something that was for the community, by the community, and just bring a little bit of our professional expertise in, uh, in terms of organizing events. Well, the different levels um, is like at any, at any normal uh, CrossFit gym, that you have your beginners, your intermediates and your advanced athletes and to give each category of athlete uh, opportunity to compete on his level. There's not a lot of individual competitions in South Africa, um, it's quite a big team based community um, but I think it's a really a good platform for somebody that wants to, you know, in the off season go and see where your weaknesses are, see if you can improve from regionals and yeah, just have fun. Well, it's, uh, you know, Rebel Elite Fitness gets involved with very select events and so on. So uh, when uh, the guys came to us with the concept for Last Man Standing, um, it just sounded very unique as in very professional. And uh, it was awesome in the sense that there was the scaled and the RX divisions and they really wanted to get the whole community involved. And uh, it sort of stood out because they stand for a lot of the same things which we do, which is serving the community, exposing the community and getting you know, more people behind the sport of CrossFit as well. So. I've, I've always looked for something different. Now I was always into Germans, you know, always wanting to stay active. I'm so excited I'm going to be um, one of the judges, so that was going to be really cool and exciting. We've taken one of South Africa's best known sports venues, uh, Supersport Park in Centurion, where everyone knows the pro tiers play, everyone knows the venue and we brought CrossFit to a big venue. And what's after that is then to take it mainstream and take it above the line. And that really allows us the opportunity to bring workouts that South African people have never seen before. What is this all about? It's all about community. You know, we need to know each other, sharing some techniques and stuff. You know, we we'll definitely advise them to do the car. Yeah, look, there's a, it's, it's a couple hundred thousand rands worth of equipment that we're uh, dedicating to the event and um, it's pretty large scale. We've gotten involved with events since CrossFit uh, came to South Africa. This is certainly something different, maybe a bit bigger. So being the first year, we're excited to see how it goes and we want to keep supporting it. I just want to have fun. I don't think it's good to win every competition. So I just want to go and have fun, um, enjoy my hard work for change and yeah, see, find weaknesses and work on them for next year. Pete, and they don't have to be scared of the workouts. There's nothing, there's nothing out there that's too crazy. There's no, there's no one element that's so wholly focused on that if you're not a weightlifter or a fitness, a cardio person or a gymnastics person, you, you're going to struggle in one, but you're going to do well in others. So we've, we've, we've organized it in such a way that it appeals to a very wide range of people. Family got me into CrossFit and I have now made a family of the CrossFit community. And that's what I love most is the whole community is there for each other in and out of the box. Um, there's also going to be a lot of opportunity for the box owners to expose themselves to the community. So we specifically want the smaller boxers to come and set up their gazebo, set up their area and get themselves out there. We want to give back to the community. We, we will create a platform where all these boxers and the small business owners can interact with media that will be there, interact with the press that will be there and really give them an opportunity to get themselves out there.